This video is brought to you by Altium. In today's episode, you will learn how to make this portable mini electric griddle at your home for camping. You can run this electric griddle on a 12 volt battery or a solar panel. Recently, I got this 80 watts PTC heater plate which I previously used to boil some water. Since this heater plate is capable to raise the temperature above 100 degrees Celsius, so I thought why not to make a mini electric griddle with it. In fact, with this PTC heater plate, you can also make electric frying pan or electric skillet etc. First, I will show you how I made this mini electric griddle and then I will share with you the test results and I will also tell you how much time it took me to cook these four breads. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. My electric griddle is ready and let's first check how quickly it raises the temperature. I just connected my 12 volt DC power supply. My Kaiweed Smart Digital Multimeter is already on and I'm going to use this K-type thermocouple to measure the temperature. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. As you can see the temperature is increasing quickly. 
It's been two minutes and now the temperature is around 98 degrees Celsius at the center of this aluminum plate. At the outer edges, the temperature is still below 90 degrees as I'm using the heater plate at the center. So it will take a minute or so to raise the temperature at the outer edges. After waiting for one more minute, now the temperature is around 112 degrees Celsius and it's still increasing. I think it's hot enough and now it's time to cook some flat breads. So after 25 minutes of waiting, here is my first hot crispy flat bread. I know it took a lot of time to cook this mini flat bread, but at least it's working. The cooking time can be reduced if you use two or three of these PTC heater plates and this way we can build a fully functional and completely portable battery or solar operated electric griddle, frying pan or skillet etc. Cooking a prada was much easier as the cooking oil reduced the time and this time it took me around 15 minutes to cook this mini soft paratha. It took me around 70 minutes to cook all these four breads. So from all these tests it's obvious we can make different cooking machines using a number of these PTC heater plates. One heater plate isn't enough. You will need at least three or four of these heater plates to make a fully functional electric griddle, electric frying pan or electric skillet etc. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.